Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about making a SharePoint 2013 workflow using the Visual Designer. So I've already opened the IT tickets list here, and um, I'm going to create a workflow, and it's going to be the same workflow that I've shown in other demos, the send high prior email. And I need to base that on the platform SharePoint 2013, not 2010, because the visual designer only works with the 13 version. So I'm opening that, and as you see here on the views, I can switch over to the visual designer. And that only works if Visio Professional 2013 is installed, and it actually is. So let's try to start that Visio 2013, as you see it is installed. So let's try that again now. Views. Visual Designer. So you might have to restart the whole thing and make sure that you have actually started Visio. Now, SharePoint Designer is opening Visio inside the SharePoint Designer. So you'll notice it does look a bit different here. In a few seconds, I will get here. There's the workflow. And as you see, it has a start and it has an end. And what I need to do now is exactly the same thing that I've done in the text based designer, but I need to do it using these shapes instead. So of course, the it's based on actions and conditions. So we're going to start with a condition, and that is the first one. If any value equals value, so I'm going to put that there. To set the text here. Yeah, or the, the, the options, you go into this little gearbox here, select the value, and there you select the current item priority there, and then equals, and there you get a little drop down high, right? And in this text here, if you double click here, if any value equals value, that's not very helpful, but here you can type in your own kind of documentation is high prio, and that's not really, you know, doesn't affect anything, but it makes it much easier to read. Is high prio. That's easy, easy to read and easy for humans to understand. In that case, I'm going to do an action and I'm going to send an email. So I'll just put that in there. Send email. There we go. In alphabetical order. That's good, of course. There we go. Put that in there and um, send notification just to explain what's, what's happening here. And then you go into the gear box here, email, and you get the regular email designer there. And I'm just gonna select the assign to, and I'm gonna put that as email address as before. There we go. And you got a new ticket. There we go, and um, just the link, there we have the link, there we go. My issues, we wanna put the link to there. Just copy that link, copy, right click and copy. And then in there, and then I'm gonna do a link. Click here, all right, or paste in that. All right, we have a workflow. Now, the important thing is that we need to connect these two and we need to set that that is um, yes connector. So I right click on that and select yes. And then I do another connector, click there, and get a connector tool, connect that over to the end of the workflow, right click on that, after switching back to the pointer tool, right click and selecting no. So the reason you would want to use the visual designer is this documentation. This is much, much easier to read. If you're not used to reading code, the text-based designer is somewhat well tricky to read but if you're used to working with workflows or flow charts or those kind of things this one is much easier to read and it's much easier to sit there with a the customer you know talking about this is the choice and this is what happens if it's no and this is what happens if it's yes so that's the benefit of the visual designer in my opinion i'm go back to the text-based designer and yes you'll see that i have the whole thing there. The one thing that I do need to set though is I need to set the start options also. Then I'm done. I can just publish the workflow like that. 
and that should be ready to run. So that concludes my demo on how to make a workflow in the Visual Designer in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. Thank you for watching.